What's up everyone? My name is Luke, aka Mr. Rage. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is going to be another one of my discussion videos. Haven't done one of these in a, a little while. Um, I uh, just also got back on YouTube. I've been away for a while. My recording software, aka my phone, obviously was broke, but got a new phone. Video also, my videos also look a lot better. So uh, I have returned to YouTube. Hope you guys miss me. So for the first discussion video of 2023, because this, this is my first discussion video of 2023, we're going to be talking about casual gamers. I know it's a bit, uh, it's a bit of a touchy subject. Now I'm someone who you could kind of call a hybrid basically between a hardcore gamer and a casual gamer because I do play video games to have fun very similarly to a casual gamer but I also really do love one hell of a challenge when I play games like um, Doom or um, if anyone still plays Ninja Gaiden or Yakuza uh, or hardcore first person shooters I love a challenge when I play games because to me the challenge is part of the fun. I love it when a game is kicking my ass and essentially forces me to think outside the box and get good or else I'm just gonna keep dying or getting my ass kicked. I love it when a game does that. But when a game is just downright unfair or when a game just starts cheap shotting me, I do tend to, you know, get angry and frustrated. Uh, I don't even think that's because of my ADHD. I think that's just a normal human response. But I also just really do appreciate a challenge. Now, the problem with casual gamers is casual gamers don't seem to want to get good, basically. <laughs> like, these people basically only want to play games to have fun. And if the game does not give them what they think is fun, then... They get mad, they don't want to play anymore, and they start complaining. When And that's what that's one thing that does start to kind of aggravate me about casual gamers. When they start complaining, when they start blaming the game for their own lack of skill. You see, casuals need to know their place. There is a place for casual gamers. There are plenty of games out there that are more for a casual audience. And there are games that are that appease to both a hardcore and a casual audience in the form of difficulty settings. You have games like Doom, which have a very easy mode and a very hard mode. You've got the very hard mode for the hardcores who want that grueling challenge and the sense of overcoming it. And then you've got the easy mode for the people who just want to have fun with the game and enjoy themselves. So there are... like. I love those types of games too. I love those types of games that actually give options for both audiences because like I said, I myself am kind of a casual too. But um, then you have casuals who don't know their place. You have casuals who play a game like uh, Dark Souls and then they start to get angry and pissed off when the game is actually really really challenging and not fun like they expected it to be you see the thing about casual gamers is casual gamers don't really like hard games because they don't have any skill i know that may sound a bit controversial but most casual gamers are lacking in a uh, lot of skill and I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons why they probably get so angry and frustrated and then start to complain when they have trouble playing a game that requires that skill that they simply just do not have or the skill that they are just lacking. You know, Dark Souls, again, is a perfect example of that. Dark Souls is known as one of the most difficult games of all time. Uh, so is a lot of other hack and slash games as well. Um, Demon Souls is another good example. I'm trying to think of uh, some hardcore first person shooters because a lot of uh, hack and slash games are very difficult. But what kind of FPS games are there that are hard? I, I don't play a lot of first person shooters anymore. I stopped playing Call of Duty after Black Ops 4. So I don't even play Call of Duty anymore. But that, that's not the point. The point is casual gamers are not really bad. OK, I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying that casual gamers are just whiny scumbags, even though that's what they sound like. No, casual gamers are misunderstood, in my opinion, because people think that casual gamers are just whiny assholes who have no skill at the game and they're just bad at games. But really, casual gamers are just as viable as the hardcore gamers because casual gamers just want to have fun. 
And that is what video games are for at the end of the day. Like, when a hardcore gamer plays a game, a hard game, they're having fun. You know, they're still getting the same thing as a casual because they're just having fun in their own way. Because hardcore gamers appreciate the challenge. They like the challenge. They like it when a game is challenging. The game is still providing fun for them. Just like how a casual wants a game to provide fun for them. Whether they're playing on the hardest difficulty or not. Uh, the one casual gamers that I don't like are definitely the ones that play on the hardest difficulty and then start complaining. They say the game is too hard when you literally selected the game on the hardest difficulty. Like, I, I was reading this one forum from this one guy who said that Doom Eternal was too difficult on ultraviolence. And I'm sitting here reading this post like, but you but you're playing on a harder difficulty and now you're saying that it's too hard and now you're complaining about it like now that's when you're starting to be a whiny asshole just like a lot of people think casual because casual gamers do have a pretty bad reputation which is unfortunate because like i said casual gamers to me uh are misunderstood because again most casual gamers just want to have fun just like a hardcore gamer uh, wants to have fun and you know one problem with hardcore gamers is actually the opposite what a what a casual some hardcore gamers actually complain when a game is not difficult enough <laughs> you know I, I i've definitely heard my fair share of hardcores complain that a game was not doing a, a good enough job at actually challenging the player so even hardcore gamers have their their problems but like like i said casual gamers need to know their place because there are some games out there that are simply not made for a casual audience. You know, again, using games like Dark Souls as an example. Games like Dark Souls are never going to be for casual audiences. Um, and the thing about casuals is when they start complaining, this also leads to games starting to becoming more easy, basically. Now, an example I'm going to be using here is the Mortal Kombat franchise. Mortal Kombat 11 was ruined by casuals because NetherRealm Studios made the gameplay of Mortal Kombat a lot more simple so that way casual gamers could play it. And that way casual gamers could also feel like they have a place in the Mortal Kombat community. But the thing about Mortal Kombat is Mortal Kombat was one of those games that was good because the challenge, you know? Mortal Kombat was not one of those games like um, Doom or, or, or even Gears of War <coughs> or Yakuza. Because games like those appease to both casual and hardcore audiences. But Mortal Kombat, on the other hand, didn't. Mortal Kombat was a very, very difficult game. And so was all of the older games. Like, if you've played the older Mortal Kombat games, even you know that the older Mortal Kombat games are extremely hard and extremely challenging. Mortal Kombat 11 was ruined by casuals because the developers wanted casuals to play their game as well so that way they could make more of that green stuff. So of course they simplified the gameplay and basically ruined Mortal Kombat for a more casual audience. Now that's when casuals start to become a problem because their complaining will be heard, right? Because if casual gamers start to complain enough, developers are going to see that. And they're going to see that casuals are no longer going to play their games if they're too hard for them. And then they'll start to make their newer games more simplified. And some games just shouldn't be like that, you know? Games like, again, Dark Souls. Games like Dark Souls are good because of how hard and challenging they are. And, you know, me personally, like I said, I I'm a hybrid, okay? I love it when a game kicks my ass. Right? I love it when a game forces me to get good. I love it when a game makes me focus. And I love it when a game is actually helping me build up more skill at the game I am playing. That's the value of actually playing games on the hardest difficulty when they actually even offer a hard difficulty. And that, and again, that also offers the value of games that are just hard to begin with. Because the thing about hard games is, although they're challenging and grueling, they build you up because in order to play that game, the developers essentially force you to get good. They, have, they force you to build skill and they force you to get better. 
Because if you don't get better, then you will not be able to play that game. And if you want to play that game, then you have to get good and you have to get better and you have to build more skill. You got to focus more. You got to think more. That's the thing about challenging games. That's why I'm a hybrid. That's why I'm also kind of a hardcore gamer because I love a game that is both challenging and builds me up. Not only that, but those types of games also are what turns a casual into a hardcore because that's what I was like, you know? I used to be a huge casual gamer, especially when I was little. I mean, I think it was like that for everyone, but the more challenging games I played, the better I got and the more skill I got. And now I'm, I'm a hardcore gamer. You know, I like games that are hard. I like the challenge. I appreciate the challenge because hard games are also more satisfying because not only does it feel great, when you are getting better at a game, but then the game shows you that you've gotten better when you actually start to overcome the challenges that were once killing you. You know, after all those times you were getting killed, you were getting your ass kicked, you felt like giving up, you felt like just taking a control and just smashing and rage quitting. The more good you start to get, the more skill you get, and the harder you try, and the more you don't give up because you can't give up. All right, one tip I can give you guys, never give up. Take breaks. You know, th this is one tip I can give you guys. When you're getting your ass kicked by a game and you're dying and you feel bad, you, f you just feel like you want to play something else, do that too. Play something else. You know, play something a bit more relaxing for a bit. You know, take a break. Take a break and get back in when you have a more clear mind. And that's another thing. These games also is a great exercise for your mind. These games, these hard games, essentially force you to think more clearly and to think faster. And they make you use tactics. Like I'm someone who is actually very simple-minded and games like Dark Souls, these types of games actually force me to think more clearly and to focus more. And I have ADHD, so I can't focus that well, but these games make me, they, they make me focus. Games like Doom on the hardest difficulty is a direct counter to my ADHD because it forces me to think. It doesn't give a fuck about my ADHD because it forces me to think. That's the most valuable thing about hard games. That's why hard games are good because they're challenging, but they build you up. They may be challenging and grueling and they may kick your ass at first, but the more you you play them and the more you actually learn and the more skill you developed it feels so satisfying when you actually learn how to play better and you actually get good and that's where the problem with casuals comes in you see like like i said i'm also kind of a casual myself let me explain i hate it when a game basically just feels downright unfair when a game feels downright unfair and when a game doesn't actually offer a way to like you know counter something in the game that's killing me or something like that or when the game just gives me no choice i hate it when a game does that so i can understand where casuals are coming from but the difference between me and a casual is i don't get mad at every single challenging game i play there are definitely some hard games that i've played that i felt like were a bit were definitely a bit too hard um but i also don't complain you don't see me leaving bad reviews for a game just because of my own lack of skill. You know, you don't see me doing that. Unless it's something like Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight is an, is an unbalanced piece of shit. See, Dead by Daylight's a good example. Dead by Daylight is a game that feels unfair because it is unfair. You know, that's one of the things about Dead by Daylight. That's why I complain about games like Dead by Daylight. But that's besides the point. Um, the difference between me and the casual is casuals do not want to actually build that skill. You see, what I was describing earlier, casuals do not even want to keep trying. Casuals give up so easily because in order to actually get better at a hard game like Dark Souls or Doom um, or, or Demon Souls or, or just any other difficult game at the top of your head, in order to actually get better at a game, you have to keep trying. That's how you build skill. When you keep trying and you change your tactics and you think better more clearly and you play more smartly, that's how you build skill in the first place. Casual gamers simply don't want to do that. And I think that's the biggest problem with casual gamers. They lack the motivation and they lack the desire to actually overcome the challenge by getting good to overcome those challenges in the first place.
And I understand why, because casuals just want to play to have fun, I guess. And I guess a challenging game that's hard is not fun for them. And that's okay. You know, if casuals don't like challenging and hard games, that's okay. Because like I said earlier, there are plenty of easy games and plenty of games that offer an easy mode for casuals. But the problem with casuals, besides their lack of skill, is when they start complaining. So many games have been ruined because they were made for a more casual audience, even though they were not supposed to be. Because casuals do have the ability to get good. You know, that, that's one thing that pisses me off about casuals, because they have the ability to actually get good and build skill. And... You know, I, I understand that, you know, maybe you'd be thinking that casuals are better than hardcores because, you know, hardcore gamers play games for longer and take games more seriously. But, I mean, honestly, video games are not for losers. You know, people think that us hardcore gamers are losers for actually trying to take the time to get good. But, hey, at least I'm good at something. At least I can tell you that I'm good at something in life. And if that's a video game, then so be it. Casuals are not better than hardcores just because they actually don't take video games that seriously. But actually, they do because then they start complaining. That That's what pisses me off. That's the biggest problem with casuals is when they start complaining that a game is too hard for them. They're like, this game is too hard. There needs to be an easy mode. We demand an easy mode. You know, video game journalists in a nutshell, but it's not even video game journalists. I have read plenty of forums and I have talked to plenty of casual gamers myself who say this type of shit. That a game is too hard and needs an easy mode or it needs more simpler gameplay because they're too stupid or simple minded to actually use their brains better. So, yeah, that's my opinion on casual gamers. Do I hate casual gamers? Of course not, but I definitely do have a lot of problems with them. I don't ever want to see games like Doom or Dark Souls become more simple and easier in the future. These types of games are good because of the challenge. And like I said, the value of a challenging game is simply too great to get rid of it. Because challenging games build you up, they build your skill, they give you skill. Challenging games actually give you skill when you take the time to actually learn that skill. That's the value of hard games in the first place. I hope this message inspires every casual gamer to actually get good and get better at games. Like, you don't have to play for extremely long periods of time to get good. I, I became a very good Doom player in just three hours, okay? You don't need to play for like 24-7 just to actually get good, okay? If you put in just a little bit more time, a little bit more effort, and a couple of more hours... You could easily build your skill depending on how long you take, you know, depending on how you could adapt. Uh, in my next video, we will talk about the problem with casuals in online gaming because boy, oh boy, is it even worse there. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what do you think about casual gamers. Personally, I got a love-hate relationship with them. I don't hate casual gamers, but at the same time, they definitely do annoy me at the, they, they annoy me at the same time. But uh, yeah, leave a like if you are also a... A hybrid between a casual and a hardcore like myself. Me personally, I'd say I'm about 80% hardcore and about 15% casual. So I guess you could consider me a hardcore. Just, just you might as well. So yeah. Anyways, um, and another thing, I'm not a hardcore gamer who calls casuals trash. Right? I'm just telling you to get better. You know, I'm not gonna be like, you're trash at the game. I'm better than you. You're trash, you know, all that shit. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not a rude ass like that. I'm I'm not I'm not a dickhead like that, you know. I'm a hardcore gamer who's telling you casuals to just get better. And if you don't want to get better, if you still think that you should just play video games just for fun without challenge, that's fine. Who am I to tell you how to live your life? You know, everyone has their own choice in life because it's their life, so Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you stuck by till the end, thank you so much. A quick shout out to M64 Bros and my buddy Sailor Moon as well. And um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next discussion video or next video in general. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you around. Take care, y'all.